Hey, is that Liam? Hey, Liam, it's Liam. Yes, it's me. How can I help you today? How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Let's get started. Every single week, the AI space gets crazier and crazier. And just when I thought the AI space couldn't get any crazier, it has. We've all heard of AI chatbots and how they work. What about an AI that can pick up the phone to someone or even call someone for you? Now, when I first got into AI, this was the exact thing that I was so, so excited about because call centers to me just made no sense. Working with a bunch of sales team that had to be constantly trained, told to follow a script and would sit there all day long dialing the phone. And the same goes for a reception desk. Someone sitting there constantly picking up the phone, answering the same questions over and over and over again. There had to be another way. And in this video, I'm super excited to show you that there is. And the best thing, is it's at our fingertips and we can build these agents right here sat at our desk. So with that said, in this video, I'm gonna be jumping in and building live with you a complete AI voice agent that can take inbound calls, qualify leads for you, as well as even make bookings. And the best part, we can integrate this AI agent into a ton of different platforms. Now the AI tool that I've chosen to build with today is a tool that I'm very, very fond of. They're doing an amazing job. They've raised a lot of money and they are backed by a solid team. This tool is called Simflow. I've been speaking with the team and they're happy to jump inside of the network and give you guys a private masterclass on this platform. So if you did want further access and you wanted more information of how you could be using these voice agents and how the platform actually works, then those of you who are in the network will have access to Simflow very, very soon. But without further ado, let's jump into the platform. Let's start building this today. There's so many features I wanna run you through and I'm very, very excited to show you what we can build. So let's kick off this tutorial. Now, like I said, we are gonna be building Building using Simflow, and you'll see exactly why I'm using Simflow very, very soon. So we can see that they've just raised over 1.8 million in seed funding, which means they're gonna be here for a while, which is good. Definitely come on over to Simplo and check out their demo. I will leave a link to these guys down below in the description. We've seen voice flow bots, we've seen these chat bots, but now we have the opportunity to build these voice bots. Now with Simflow, it's super simple to set these bots up and I'll be showing you exactly how we do that very shortly. But in essence, we now get a human-like voice assistant that can speak to prospects inside of our CRM as part of a sales process. It can act as a real estate agent that can give advice and take bookings for new home viewings. They've even got an example here for recruitment showing how you can screen potential prospects when they're applying for jobs. The list really is endless here. And if you are looking to build this into your business, I'm sure you can find a way of how this tech applies to you. And if you are running an agency selling this into businesses, then even better because you now have a brand new tool that you can add to your arsenal and it's just gonna blow your clients away. So look, let's get into the fun part. Let's get into the build. So I'm gonna hit log in here. I obviously already have an account. So we can see there's an assistance tab here, right? So you can come down, you can click open. This is just one that I threw together for the example of this video. We will be starting from scratch, don't worry. But we have these different options. We have dashboard, we have configure, we have prompt, we have deployment and we have logs. So Prompt is essentially how we're going to set this chatbot up. How are we going to train it? What is it? How do we want it to respond to people? What is its main job? What is its main goal? Do we want to set it up so it sends SMS after it's had a call? Do we want to be able to take real-time booking and connect it in with our CRM? Do we want to be able to transfer it to a human if the AI agent can't help the person on the phone? And of course, do we want to extract the data that is coming from this call, maybe even moving these leads into a CRM as well? So tons of different options. Big fan of this one as well. It actually ties into Go High Level Zapier and it also does have an API that you can connect into. You can see they have example zaps already. So create a conversational agent interfaces in Simflow from new form responses in Google Forms. So when someone submits a Google Form, Simflow will now call them up and speak to them and qualify them as a lead. Send Slack channel message with Simflow AI responses for new messages posted to channels in Slack. Again, we can tie this bot into so much more than just being a standalone bot. It really can become part of someone's sales process, customer care process, or just lead management process overall. So this is so exciting for me. Where is this tech gonna be in two to three months time? So look, let's go through, let's now build this bot. So first things first, what you're gonna to need to do is come down to your integrations and you're gonna to wanna to set up a Twilio account. Now to set up a Twilio account is pretty simple. You go to Twilio, you create the account. There is a guide here on their website walking you through exactly what you need to do um, and telling you how you need to set it up. It was very simple. I went and I bought a number, a UK number, and I took it back to Simflow, connected it with my account SID, authentication token, and I click save. Now, one really cool thing as well is if you've used Eleven Labs before, we will dive into, into this tutorial, you can connect your Eleven Labs voices. So for me, I can clone my voice and use it 
as the person who picks up and dials the phone. So even better, we can hyper customize these voice agents. So we're not just using generic voices and we're actually customizing it to our specific client or to your specific business needs. Now, obviously I have my workspace set up on Orthodox. We have these different plans. So it starts from $29 per month. That gives you access to one active assistant, connection into Twilio, all of the API access. You can do everything that I just mentioned. And then it goes all the way up to agency where you can actually white label this, create your own platform and then resell it. So again, if you're running an agency, this is another good option for you to package this up and start offering it as a core service to different clients that you're working with. So let's get to the fun stuff. Let's go to create our assistant. So we can either choose an outbound assistant or we can choose an inbound assistant. Obviously outbound, we're gonna automate calls. We're gonna reach out to people that have come through a form, maybe into our CRM or submitted something on our website. We are then gonna be able to connect it with an API where this bot then makes an outbound call. Or we can set it to inbound, meaning we just have to set the number up. And if someone calls that number, it can then pick up the call do what it needs to do, follow its prompt, follow its guides, and then be able to deliver on that call as well. Again, we can tie it into different CRMs, just like we've spoken about. We also can add it to our website, so we can create a widget that essentially sits on our site, maybe it's great for mobile users, where you can hit a widget directly on the website that you put it on, and it can make the call and ring this assistant. Because we work with a lot of clients with reception desks, I'm gonna build an inbound bot. Now, when it comes to creating your assistant, we can upload an image, it's optional, we can change its name. So this is gonna be called Portmore Dental Voice. So this is actually one of our clients that we work with at the moment, and I can now choose the voice. So I can come here, I can select Alice, I can change it. Hey there, how can I assist you? Cool, that's fine for now. We can always change this whenever we want. This is just temporary. Whilst we're setting this bot up, I can then go into 11 Labs. So I'll show you how you can customize that and connect that all up. So in terms of the model we're going to be using, Simflow have really, really helpful guides in terms of their tutorials and their support, right? So the way that I learned how to do this was I came over to this page, which is Assistant Configuration, and they give you a really simple breakdown of their AI model selection. So instead of just diving in, guessing what one to take, it actually gives you a really easy breakdown here, giving you the context understanding paired against the speed depending on the different language model that you're using. So GPT-4, the quality and the context understanding is very, very high, but the speed is slower. GPT-3.5 Turbo, again, the context isn't that great, but the speed's much faster. There is also a fine-tuned outbound sales call model, which it would need to be faster, right? Because it's doing outbound sales calls. You can't have it sitting there where there's a, a five second, 10 second gap between conversations. Um, so it really is important that you get this model choice right because that is the difference between a good voice agent and a bad one. And I know that's a common problem that a lot of people are facing when they're coming into these types of models. There is GPT-4 Turbo here available now. So we're gonna use that. We've got balanced voice quality and response speed. We leave that on Turbo Stream. Language USA. We are in the UK. That just means the type of words and pronunciations. Custom greeting, the opening line. Hey there, this is Alice at Portmore Dental. How may I assist you? Patience level, low for rapid exchanges, high for more focused turns with less crosstalk. So I'm gonna leave that as it is right now. So I'm gonna hit next here. So we can see the prompt is wrong already. We've already changed our name. Um, so we're gonna to wanna to change this. And it says, you work as a personal assistant. Your personality profile is practical and down to earth, very friendly and very helpful. You keep things simple. Our mission at Simflow is to democratize AI technology to make it accessible and user-friendly. Now this is irrelevant to Portmore Dental. So what do we now need to do? Well, we need to change this prompt so that it's custom for our business or for the client that we're working with. Now. Simflow has actually built a GPT for us to create these high quality prompts based on our needs and our requirements. So down below in the description, I'm gonna leave a link to the AI voice prompt script builder that they've kindly put together for us so that we can build these prompts and actually get the highest quality prompt for our chatbot. So for us, I wanna create an inbound reception desk chatbot that helps make bookings for our dental practice. I also want it to answer questions about the services that we offer our clients. Here is our website. Cool. So I'm now gonna punch that in, see how it spits out a new prompt for me. Cool, so the script GPT has now built for me this entire prompt. So it makes it super, super simple. What you have to realize is 
the thing that AI is good for is most people will start from zero and build something good just with their own knowledge. But the way that I like to use GPTs and ChatGPT in general is to start from somewhere good and create something great with my own input. So that's some secret sauce that you can take away for yourself. But that is how you need to treat um, anything that comes out of OpenAI, in my opinion, when it comes to you know building prompts and that kind of thing. So look, I'm now going to copy all of this and I'm going to go back on over to our Synflow account and I'm going to paste this into our prompt. So inbound reception desk chatbot for Portmore Dental bot name. The person is going to be called Alice, the Portmore Dental bot. Great. Portmore Dental offers a comprehensive range of services. Yep, that's all right. For questions about specific dental services, again, Alice. So this is our prompt, right? This is our structure. Um, and now this is our actual script that we're going to use for when this bot actually has a conversation on the phone. Take your time with this, you know, spend time actually building out a solid prompt and you can play around with it. You can always change it. So addressing pricing queries, let's add that feature in as well. Just going to come down and paste that in. To be honest, I'm probably going to add all of this. So I'm just going to come down and add everything in here. I'm just going to delete these. And that is essentially it. If I click next and I select our Twilio number, it should show up here. Yep, that's all good. That's set up for voice and SMS. Um, I can now set my daily budget for the amount that it should spend when it's on the phone. There are obviously credits that go towards your agent. So our bot's been set up. Portmore Dental Voice Bot called Alice. Let's see how it performs. I'm going to put my number in here. Don't try to call me. So to test my bot, because it's an inbound bot, all I need to do is give it a call on my phone. So let's give it a ring now. Hey there, this is Alice at Portmore Dental. How can I assist you? Hi Alice, I'd like to make a booking, please. Sure, I can help with that. Would you prefer a particular day or time for your dental appointment? The problem is, Alice, I'm British, so my teeth are so yellow because we don't ever brush our teeth. Is that something you can fix? Don't know that yellow. We understand your concerns, and at Portmore Dental Practice, we're committed to helping improve the oral health and aesthetics of all our patients. Teeth discoloration can be caused by various factors, including diet, oral hygiene okay. habits, Alice, and Alice, cut to more. the chase. Can I make a booking? Okay. Absolutely. Let's get your booking arranged. Could you please tell me which day and time would work best for you to come in for a teeth whitening consultation? Monday the 21st of March, please. Great. Let me check our availability for Monday the 21st of March. One moment, please. Checking schedule. I'm sorry for the confusion, but as an AI, I don't have access to the live schedule. However, I can guide... Just quickly, on this section, you hear the voice agent say, I'm sorry, I'm just a voice agent, I can't make this booking. But what you can do is you can make sure inside of those actions, you can turn on the action of booking. And then I could have just used cow.com to actually allow that voice agent to make that booking. But again, like I said, if you want a more advanced video, let me know down below in the comments and I can show you how we can set that up. Cool. So... That is what I wanted to hear. And as you can see, how simple was it to create that voice agent? I also just wanted to add that a lot of building a very good voice agent is heavily reliant on the prompt that you use and the prompt that you give it, right? So as you can see in this video, I've done a very basic job. But if you actually spend the time and you really put the effort into build a solid prompt, your voice agent will be 10 times better than mine is. Now, I also know that depending on the different plans that you pick inside of Simflow, the team will actually work with you one-on-one -on -one to custom build your prompt for your specific use case. It just blows my mind how easy we just set up something that can now sit there in our business and actually act as a human. Now, obviously it is very quite clearly AI, but with the speed that AI moves a couple of months from now, that will look very, very different. Okay, so the next step, now that we have our voice agent working, we want to connect this up with Go High Level. So this is an inbound chatbot. Let's say for argument's sake, our business is using Go High Level, which is a really good CRM platform and just about everything in between when it comes to managing leads inside of a pipeline. How are we now going to set it up so that we can save transcripts from this call and we can also take bookings for this call from our inbound agent? Well, first things first, we need to set it up with Go High Level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on over to integrations and we are gonna come down to where it says Go High Level. Now I'm gonna disconnect and show you and walk you through it. So click connect and then I have a Simflow sub account that I have just set up just for the example of this tutorial. So you're gonna hit that and it will do all the connections for you. So in this case, this is a brand new sub account that I just created. Um, we can see it's got voice AI, which is Simflow. So that's because I've gone through the app marketplace. I've got it all installed. You can do all that through Simflow. Just follow the guides. 
And you can see here, I can actually work on my Simflow agent inside of Go High Level, which is really, really good. Okay, so let's say all of your Go High Level is connected now, you've got everything tied in, you followed all of the steps in integration, you've got that green light, it says it's all ticked and ready to go. What we're now gonna want to do is, because we build an inbound bot, we're now gonna to wanna to create a new workflow. Now, this workflow is an automation. The reason why we're creating this automation is when we get an inbound call, what we want to happen is the automation needs to now track that number that's called in, it needs to save the details, and it needs to give us a list and a transcription of the call that it's had so we can go through all of the contacts that ring in to this number and we can see exactly what happened in those chats. So let's do that together, it's really, really simple. All we're gonna do, create a new automation, and our trigger is going to be an inbound webhook, okay? So you will have to have a premium account for this. The inbound webhook will then give you a URL that you just have to copy. You go back on over to Simflow, you go to your bot, click quick setup, go to webhook, hit save, and then we just hit initialize there. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is hit fetch sample request. So once you've done that, you should receive a payload, and then we can use that as our example data when it comes to setting up the rest of this automation. So we're gonna save that trigger down. That's now our inbound trigger. We're now gonna click create contact, add field, and we are gonna save the phone number. And we're gonna set that as our inbound webhook trigger, which is phone number. And then of course, what we want to do after that is we want to create a note. We wanna add that to the contact. So unfortunately, we can't save the name, which is annoying for the inbound stuff, but we can use variables in the outbound that we're doing inside of these voice bots. So for the note, what we're gonna do, set our transcription. So again, we'll come to custom values, inbound webhook trigger, and then the transcripts there. Uh, we can have how long the call went on for. So again, duration, and then we can hit save. We'll publish that. One thing you do need to make sure you turn on is you need to make sure you can allow re-entry. So that means if someone does call multiple times, it will update their contact details. Cool, so let's hit save, and let's call our bot and see if it works. Hey there, this is Alice at Portmore Dental. May I ask who's calling? It's Liam. Hello, Liam. How can I assist you today at Portmore Dental Practice? Hi, could you tell me about your teeth whitening services? Certainly, Liam. Our teeth whitening services are designed to safely and effectively brighten your smile. We offer both in-office treatments and at-home whitening kits. The in-office procedure provides immediate results, while the ATT home kit allows you to whiten your teeth at your convenience over a period of time. The best option for you will depend on your specific needs and preferences. Thank you, Alice. Consultation I really appreciate your time. Thanks for that. You've given me everything you, I've yeah. needed. I'm going to go now. Thank you. Goodbye. Good. Cool. She hung off of me. But let's see if our contact and that transcript has now been saved inside of Go High Level. So if we go to contacts, we can see my contact here. And then if we come on over to notes, we can see the transcript. So the name didn't work, unfortunately, but transcript does. So hey there, it's Alice from Portmore Dental. It's Liam. Hello, Liam. So that's kind of a cheat code. If you ask the name in the actual script of the bot itself, then we can always come in and update that there. So pretty much got the transcript spot on. So perfect. Told me what time it is, all of that good stuff. So now in that case, if you now have that information, someone in the team can actually click through and they can call that number. So I can literally come to go high level, I can hit this, I don't have a phone number clicked, and I can call Liam back up. With Simflow, there are configurations where we can actually set actions, right? So we can actually have it take real-time bookings. We can do that with cow.com, even inside of go high level. So if you did want a more advanced tutorial on Simflow, where you want me to go over all of the features, let me know down below. Are you liking this tutorial so far? Have you learned a lot? And if you are, great, because we're now about to get into our outbound agent, and I wanna quickly show you how you can connect that up inside of Go High Level as well. So instead of you taking inbound calls, maybe you wanna plug this into a sales team. Maybe you wanna create an appointment set up for your business, in which case we're gonna to wanna to call numbers as they come into our CRM. Now, before I do go on, you can connect other CRMs. We do have the opportunity to connect HubSpot to this as well. So it's not just for Go High Level users. A lot of our clients use both Go High Level and HubSpot. So we do have options. Now, what you also can do before I move on, you can actually toggle recordings and Simflow will actually save your transcripts inside of the actual platform itself. So you can see here, we can click through, we can see the transcripts, even has a recording where we can then play that we can download the recording, download the transcript. So again, this is super valuable for you and you can see what sort of questions this bot is getting asked. 
so you can then update the bot with different prompts and different information as and when you see uh, more and more questions coming in around a particular topic. So look, I wanna create an outbound bot for you guys as well because I feel like this is crazy powerful too, especially if you have a sales team or you need appointment setters, this is a great opportunity. Now, I'm not gonna go into crazy detail of actually setting this bot up and setting up all the prompts. Again, you can follow the same procedure that I did last time using Simflow's GPT. But what I am gonna do is show you the connection inside of Go High Level so you can set it up inside of your CRM for any new contacts that you make. And one thing I'm also gonna do is show you how we can connect this with 11 labs now 11 labs allows you to create custom voices now alongside that they also have a voice library with a ton of different voices we've got andrea monica you can listen to samples here softly what another way of saying I, another way of saying i love you is taking you home basically you have all these different options but one of the ones that i like is you can come into voice lab and you can just record yourself so you can basically click in some voice cloning you record yourself speaking you can upload like 25 different samples and I did that just now. Let's listen to this. Hey guys, welcome to the Synthflow tutorial. There we go. So I've cloned my voice. Now what can I do with this voice? Well, I can now take this voice and plug it into my voice agent. So how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna come back on over to Synthflow. I'm gonna come on over to integrations and you'll see here there's an API key. So all you need to do, so you come on down to your settings, you look at your profile, you connect your API, you copy it from here, you paste it into Simflow, hit save. I should be able to come on to, over to my assistant, hit open and then change my voice. You can see that this voice that I generated here, let's play it. Hey guys, welcome to the Simflow tutorial. We can now come on over and we can select that voice. So right here we have my voice final. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna set up the prompt, but what I am gonna do is configure the first message that is said to me when I am called, right? So hey there is that first name now this is a variable right so you can choose the variable you can have your variable as an email a name a phone number whatever details you've saved on the side of the CRM that is what we're going to use now we're going to use first name because obviously if we are an appointment setter trying to call someone who's just submitted their details we are going to want to ask that is definitely them that we are calling so again we're gonna we're gonna hit enable on recordings we're gonna leave this for now change that to GPT for turbo prompt is great for this example we've already got our go high level set up but we are going to need to enter in that webhook so this is where it gets interesting and this is where i want to walk you through now what i will do is i'm going to change this contact that we already previously made to my actual name so i'm going to save that because this is the number that we're going to use to call inside of go high level so we're then going to come back down to automation and we're going to create a new workflow we're going to start from scratch and I want to do it when a contact has a certain tag. So I'm going to set contact tag, workflow trigger name, and the tag is going to be tag added. Let's add a new tag. Cool. Great. So that's all set up. That is now our trigger. And then the next step is going to be make a phone call. So we've now got these this list of variables, right? So number one, the model is going to be inside of Simflow. Our model ID is right here. We can click copy and then we can copy that over. The phone number we're gonna be calling is gonna be inside of our contact. So it'll be our phone raw format. We wanna keep it like that. The name is going to be again in contact, which is gonna be first name. And then we need an API key, which again is on Simflow. We can come on over here and we can copy that API key right there. So what's super important is when we're doing this, if we're setting up our variables, we need to make sure that our variables match. So. The variable for me is gonna be first name and we're gonna change that so that the input is always going to be contact first name. So we can now hit save action. And now if we hit save, we should be able to receive a phone call. So if we come to test workflow, select my name, run test, moment of truth, let's see if it works. It's ringing, it's working, let's give it a go. Hey there, is that Liam? Yes, it is Liam, who's this? Hi Liam, I'm Jordan from Cloud Innovate. I saw that you've been exploring options to enhance your project management processes. Have you considered implementing a comprehensive solution like Cloud Innovate to streamline your workflow? You know, Jordan, Cloud Innovate sounds great, but unfortunately, I'm already working with Unorthodox, the best damn AI agency in the world. And guys, there you have it. Okay, it's still talking to me. But guys, there, actually, I better turn it off. It's gonna burn my credits. But guys, there you have it. We now have a working voice agent that is trained with my voice that handles our inbound and our outbound. Now, when it comes to the use cases for the outbound type of work, if you look at a sales company, 
These guys collect a lot of leads online and they work heavily trying to manage these leads and qualify these leads. So why don't you build an outbound agent so that they can then go and qualify these leads? It's all about working that prompt, trying to understand exactly what its use case is, what sort of objections happen, what is the real customer journey you're trying to take people on. You know, I wouldn't try to complicate this. If you're building an outbound bot, just make it simple, make it so it goes out and it confirms a budget or it goes out and tries to book them in for a meeting. Again, if you want a more advanced tutorial on this, let me know down below in the description. I told you it was crazy. The possibilities really are endless when it comes to voice agents. Chatbots were level one, voice agents are level five. So look, go and get started. Use the link down below to trial Synflow for yourself. See what voice agents you can build. Really start to put your head together to understand how you could be using these for your clients or inside of your own business. This kind of service is gonna look very different in three months time. The way that tech moves and how quickly things change, we are going to see this level up so, so fast. So the fact that you're here watching this video right now means that you are extremely early and you are gonna be ready to capitalize on any opportunities that do come from this kind of AI agent. But guys, look, if you did like this video and you did enjoy this type of content, please let me know down below in the comments, what are you gonna be using an AI voice agent for? And also remember, if you want more information on these amazing tools, learning how to make money with them, how to use them inside of your business, or just being able to see what's coming out into the market, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. The button is literally glowing right now. Click subscribe, go, go, go. But guys, that is it for me today. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, so this time we are calling my brother and asking him how the weather is and what he's up to. Hello. Hey, Dad, how's it going, Bossman? How's it going, Bossman? Oh, mate, I can't really hear you. Your signature's pretty bad. This bit's good. Oh, is it a bit patchy? Let me try moving to a better spot. How about now? Any better? Uh, I, yeah, a bit better. <laughs> Great. So what's the weather like over there in the UK today, and what have you been up to? <laughs> it's like a, a testing of you to make AI do phone calls. What is this? Ah, uh, got it. Well, <laughs> I apologize for any confusion. It seems there was a misunderstanding. Let's get back on track. What's the weather like in the UK today, and what have you been up to? <laughs> My problem. Okay, so yeah, you're almost definitely testing an AI, right? Yes, this is an AI simulation of a conversation. How can I assist you further? <laughs> it's now you're looking at what? It's both are very real possibilities. It's just a simulation. <laughs> Both are real possibilities in the realm of AI, but let's focus on you for a moment. What did you have for breakfast today? <laughs> I want to hang up. <laughs> oh okay, bro, I'll call later. Take care, Dad. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, yes, Dad, how's it going, boss? I'm like, guys, watch the face. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? <laughs>